Magazine Street business owner cleaning up her store after the window was busted this weekend. And yeah, the frustration comes after an exciting week. Mm -hmm. Her handmade umbrella made an impressive appearance right. in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Erica Brando joins us more, joins us now with more. I'm sure this was so disappointing for right. her. It was, but it was exciting the week before that because if you watched the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade and saw Mariah Carey perform, you probably took notice of a bright red umbrella with thousands of crystals. That umbrella was made by the owner of Bella Umbrellas here in New Orleans. It was a major highlight in her career, but her focus this week has shifted after her business was vandalized. These are all handmade in Italy. The ceiling inside Bella Umbrella on Magazine Street is dripping in eccentric, bright, one-of-a-kind umbrellas. It's like a wonderland of color. Jodelle Egbert started her business after realizing her passion for collecting vintage umbrellas. From the 1930s, 40s, and 50s, I had amassed like 200 pieces. Egbert started renting them out. For $25. And eventually learning to make her own. My first umbrellas that I handmade were in Sex in the City. Prop masters with movie and TV crews caught on. I've made umbrellas for American Horror Story, for Bridgerton. And two weeks ago, she received a mysterious call. We need a custom umbrella for a very famous singer that's going to be performing in the Thanksgiving Day Parade. In days, she designed a red umbrella with jewels. She came back and said, Mariah Carey. I was like, oh! <laughs> I mean, that was like, oh my gosh. Her moment that was followed this Saturday at 3 a.m. by a disheartening phone call. I'm standing out in front of your shop. It's been compromised. My window is just smashed. And it's such a beautiful, old, historic window. Egbert says nothing was taken. Thank goodness. I had some of my most expensive, beautiful, Italian umbrellas in the window. But a replacement window will cost three to four thousand dollars. Talking to my landlord and yeah, this is gonna come out of my pocket, which I don't have. The senseless vandalism is a frustrating reality other small business owners have faced. Aiden Gill has been vandalized. Art for Eyes has been vandalized. You know, same thing down in the quarter. It, it makes no sense. It's just vandalism. Agra says she just got new umbrellas to display for the Christmas season. She'll be able to do that as soon as the window is replaced, hopefully tomorrow. All right, hopefully that happens soon, Erica. Thank you.